Hi, this is your girl, Wilma, and we're going to be a reading in the Word of God with Jesus and a cup of coffee, and I hope you join with me today. All right, get our coffee. All right, we're going to be turning over to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. three and twenty and it says now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us that's a good scripture isn't it and the power is the holy ghost and and if we have jesus and we're baptized and we after that we get the holy ghost right well that's the power that it's a talking about all it says all that we asked or think oh my goodness it's wonderful isn't it uh and let's go over to jeremiah chapter 29 all right go to chapter 29 jeremiah all right verse 11 start at verse 11 okay and it says for i know the thoughts that i think toward you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end he has good thoughts toward us All right, let's go to, I didn't read it all, did I? All right, let's read this a little bit more, okay? Let's go to, let's read the rest of that. I didn't read it all. Thanks toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That is a great scripture, isn't it? All right, go to Jeremiah, uh, no, Matthew 6. Matthew 6, guys. I'm getting a little bit mixed up. Go to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. All right, let's see what scripture. 25 through 30. And this is a good scripture. Now listen to this. And it says, Therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lily of the valley, lilies of the valley, I mean, vil excuse me, lily of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet, I say unto you, that even Sodom, Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God clothed the grass of the field, which the day is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? See, some... It's going to come a time that there are going to be a phantom in the land. And it's going to be no money staring. So it's like through this pandemic, but it's going to be wasser. And uh, we think, how are we going to be fed? How are we going to be clothed? How are we going to pay our rent? How, all things would come into our mind, you know. So that scripture gives us hope. If we're living for Jesus... 
and we got that hope in us and we call upon him he hears us no matter what he hears you no matter if you're a sinner or a christian he'll hear you okay and he also says in his word he reigns on the just and on the unjust so uh, that being said all right let's uh let me read this to you christians facing difficult situations today can take comfort in these scriptures knowing that it is not a promise to immediately rescue us from hardships or suffering but rather a promise that god has a plan for our lives and regardless of our current situation he can work through it to prosper us and give us a hope jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 through 13 god proclaims through jeremiah that was a man of the that was a prophet of god he wrote jeremiah cha uh, scriptures that when you call upon me and come and pray to me i will listen to you you will seek me and find me and when you seek me with all your heart so like it's been said seek god with all your heart with all your soul mind and strength make god first in everything you do and all these good things will come and add it unto you and and that gives us hope don't it it gives us hope in God and hope for tomorrow and knowing that all things is it's going to be added to us all good things so uh, take thought of those scriptures and and also read the Bible and open it up and try to find you some scriptures you can stand up on and with faith all right and I uh, thank you for stopping by my channel and I hope I've done some good reading for you and and helping you through the hard times and the troubles and that you may endure and knowing that you know suffering is only for a little bit a little short time it seems like forever to us you know but God is never late he's all right on time he's always on time and he'll come and rescue you he'll deliver you and he said he would he all his promises he never lies so what he says he will do and bank on it because stand upon his word and also quote some good scriptures to yourself and and re and repeat these scriptures and it always helped me so if it helped me it helped you too so um like i've been said always stand upon god turn to god and he will help you and deliver you and there is hope for tomorrow this is your girl wilma with with the bible of jesus and a cup of coffee and next time uh, come back and we'll do some more scriptures and i hope i have helped you some way